I can't even speak anymore. I think my eyes is like, dude. Uh, Friday at last. Dude, don't even talk about it. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. It's Friday. Let's just get going. P.S. Tesla should have gas masks. I got time for that. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning and thank you for tuning in to Live 5 Show where we are living live. I'm filling in for Janaya. Are you an international society? Well, we have information for you coming up soon. Well, do you like digging holes? Do you like cleaning up your mess? Well, if you do, I got more storage for you on the way. Ever wanted to glide over water? Well, now you can. More of this coming up soon. Oh, okay, I just got his teeth. Anyways, <laughs> more adventures this weekend. Just in time for that, so those regional cards. When is, when is the Red Carpet Media Festival? More on this after the break. And if you want to be cool, stay in school. Don't forget, May 1st is the last day to enter into the Red Carpet Media Festival. The festival takes place on May 31st and winners go to Hollywood. If you sign up for Ride or Do It for 7th for seven grade and the Package Egg Catapult, meet in room 307 today at lunch. Also, International Society members, stop by at Snack to hand in your gift cards today and there will be a meeting at Monday at lunch. Today is Friday, but we have the sports segment you, all of you have been waiting for. Yo, it's your boy, Prince Osuji. I'm here today filling in for Michael and Gary. And for this week's Pro Sports, we have NBA. Dunks, crossovers, blocks, everything you can want. Let's go check it out. Westbrook. Trailing Durant. Ibaka. Two man game. Boy Griffin explodes on Gasol. This is Paul George. Durant. Oh. 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 Oh.
for this week's Pro Sports. Did you see that part where Blake Griffin, he just went up, he started dunking on everybody. He was like, ah, oh, get dunked on. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. Well, we'll see you next week with even more Pro Sports. Time out across to go with Jennifer. Good morning, Jennifer. Hovercrafts aren't a new idea, but they are a reality. The Hamacher Schnomer Company has created one that seats up to two people and glides over land and water speeds at about 62 miles per hour. The aircraft's powerful eight-bladed fan engine keeps it aloft seven inches above most surfaces. Although it was created for the sole purpose of hovering over water, it has the ability to go over ice, mud, and grass. The U.S. Coast Guard and police is certain places that it uses the hovercraft. The first hovercraft was invented in 1956 by Christopher Cockerell. And many other companies such as Medio Neodoric and Universal Hovercrafts have modified it since then. The Hammer, I can't pronounce this, the Hammacher Schmelmer Hovercraft can be owned for the lofty price of 20,000 bucks. To Ben, hi, go fly. That's the news around the world. Time to go back to Tesla for upcoming events. Hey Jennifer, today is minimum day in college day. That takes care of our schedule. Let's go to Kyla for our live inside forecast. Okay, so, so right now, so let's go to the west. We're going to see they're warming back up at 67 Los Angeles. And you see this red, that means we're going to have a heat. Heat is coming our way, so don't worry, we're going to have warmer temperatures for the weekend. As you see, 80 in Reno, 70 in Salt Lake City. In the east, they're heating back up with the higher temperatures we see, no more 50s for them, with 63 and 72 in Charlotte. So let's go to our five-day forecast. So today, 73, and just like I said, tomorrow, 78, and Sunday, 77, perfect weekend weather. As we go back to school Monday, we're going to see 74 and Tuesday 72. That wraps up here. Let's go to Jefferson with our awesome web poll. Good morning, Jefferson. Good morning, Kyla. Today we have Angel with us. Good morning, Angel. Good morning, Jefferson. This week you pondered the question, should archery be added to PE? Here's what you said, Trojans. Should the ABC district allow archery classes and why? Archery classes would be great if our PE classes were small, like 35 students in a class. I think they shouldn't because a student could get really hurt and they could have more injuries than usual per year. Yes, because it could be a fun activity. How do you think an archery class would affect the students? I think the students would enjoy the class until somebody got hurt. Yes, because it could be a fun activity. How do you think an archery class would affect the students? I think it would get them prepared, like if they want to practice on any other sport, maybe it'll get them more physically prepared. Well, they would learn uh, a lot of fine motor skills. Would you choose archery as an elective? Yeah. I personally wouldn't choose it, but I would recommend it to other students if they want to join on it, and I would tell them that we have an archery class. Would you suggest plastic or metal arrows? Um, I would su suggest plastic because it's less harmful. Um, plastic because um, metal errors are dangerous and plastic. Where should the targets be placed? It should be placed in the fields. Um, preferably not where people walk. <laughs> so they would have to, oh. it would have to be somewhere where it would be uh, safe, somewhere out on, uh, probably out on the north field. What grade would be appropriate for archery? If you're talking about like middle school, 8th grade, high school, maybe 10th or 11th. 9th or 10th. What is a disadvantage of having an archery class? The students might not be able to try other electives. People can get hurt. What is the advantage of having an archery class? Um, like some people don't like usually get to get to teach to like shoot an arrow or something. What is an advantage of having an archery class? You can have the opportunity to meet, to learn a new sport, meet new friends, and like have more better concentration.
Here are the results from the past week's Swell poll. About 60% of you said yes, and 27% of you said no, and 14% of you didn't really care. Our new question is, to test off get a Janine, we want to hear from you. Be sure to visit online at liveinfection.com or face to page it up. Send your comments to the poll at liveinfection.com, and it's good, we read on air. So Angel, what do you think? Be a because in case like it's cold or if it's raining, thing that we can just go in the gym instead of missing out on activities. But bad things could happen if we got a gymnasium. It could take up room and it can cause more money. Do you want to give a shout out to anyone? Yeah, I want to give a shout out to my little brother Isaiah. Happy birthday and I love you, bro. Thank you for joining us today. Now let's go to Mark the Life and Five Sports. Well, you know how I said cleaning up your room or getting yourself out of a big mess? Well, I'm going to explain to you what that means right now. So Miami beat Milwaukee 104 to 91. Miami leads that series 3 to 0. It's going to be really hard for the Bucks to climb out of this hole that they dug their in. Wow, see what I did there? Anyways, the Bulls beat the... Yeah, the Bulls beat the Nets 79 to 76. Chicago leads that series 2 to 1. Memphis beat Los Angeles Clippers 94 to 82, but Los Angeles Clippers still lead lead to the lead the series two to one. Your NHL, the Ducks beat the Canucks 33 to one. Hey, that rhymes. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. I can make a rhyme many times. Ah. Anyway, I'm not sending it off to Johnny. Thank you, Marion. Okay, time now for today's daily 411. They changed its logo in 1941, 1915, 1982, or 2003. Take five. What? I'm going to say 1982. When Pepsi changed its logo. Pepsi changed its logo in 1941 to support World War II. Ah, oh, I okay, see. Before we go, I have a really, really, really important shout out. Hmm. What? I have a shout out for Matthew <laughs> Nagata and Mark Aliza. I have a really important shout out for Angel's brother Isaiah. Rest in peace, young bro. Mm -hmm. Shout out for Jefferson. And Eric. And... <laughs> yeah. Shout out to everybody. Even this plant. I know. Yeah. Shout out to this bamboo. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> Visit today's website online at live showcom so you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Live5Show. That's all for our show. We'll see you back here on Monday.